Welcome to Tips from the Top with me, Joe Parry. Today I've come to Solway Community Technology College in Cumbria. This is one of the top performing secondary schools in the county. In this video, Head of Technology, Julia Cooper, shares her top tips for extending the benefits of a school trip when you get back in the classroom. I think we both agree that the trips shouldn't stop when the plane lands or when they get back off the coach, that after the trip is important. What if you've got one of those short trips, maybe going out for, for the day, what sort of things would you be doing on the return to school? Um, because we're very much to giving the students ownership when they go out, so they've maybe chosen the, the bits that they're doing, the activities they're doing. So they then need to actually evaluate what they did, what they've learned, how that's going to be of use in the future. Writing news reports, which we then published, so we publish them in the newsletter. Fabulous. We might send excerpts then to the Cumberland News, so they're in the press. They'd certainly be available on the website. We also do Certificate of Personal Effectiveness, which is COPE. Yes. So everything falls into COPE, which is fantastic, because they, they need to provide the evidence, the photographs, the annotation, the diaries. Um, and it all goes into the COPE folder towards, a, hopefully, a level two. And maybe that's a tip out to everybody. That's something that's very good to use that really does focus the learning objectives and make sure that students have got an awful lot out, out of a trip. We have all our students do that as part of citizenship. That Mexican one sounds fantastic. That's mm. wonderful. What about that? What are your... What are you wanting to do when you get back to school, when you get the team back on this? Although it'll only affect a small proportion for actually going out to Mexico, um, it affects the whole community of Silith. Right. Because the whole community is involved, so we will be sending online diaries back from Mexico itself, okay. which then need to be built on when we get back. So students work, they become our ambassadors, they go out and talk to the town council, they'll talk to the Rotary Club, they write press releases, they go and do the fundraising. And we know that what we do in the classroom is incredibly important, what well, we hope it is as teachers, but actually I think that experiential learning to take on to life and what they... This clearly is a fantastic trip. We set out to widen horizons and break down misconceptions. We have an equal partnership link. They all feel so privileged to have gone. They, they think they're so streetwise before they go, <laughs> till you get them to Manchester Airport and they've never seen a moving pavement, you know? <laughs> and then by the time they come back from Mexico, it's no problem, this. Excuse us. This. We've done this. We've travelled across the world, you know? When our Mexican friends then join us here, our school just expands. Lovely. There's, um, and the learning then becomes the whole of our school because they're part of our community. And you're learning from each other, people from different cultures. Completely. Everybody becomes world citizens. I was just about to say, Julia, an awful lot of hard work, but mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. the hard work is, is really worthwhile. I think you're doing it's a great job. It's absolutely fulfilling. That's mm -hmm. brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much for you're talking welcome. to us. Well, the first thing I would do would be to get each of the groups to report back what they have seen. That way, the students can discuss with each other how they felt about the visit. It also improves their presentation skills and their teamwork, so you tick in huge numbers of boxes. Also, that discussion going about how people have experienced things is great for a theory of knowledge talk. Talk to the students about why different people see things in different ways. Why is my experience of that different from yours? A great talking point to get them all involved in. And then finally, you'll have met your learning objectives because you've planned this brilliantly. But use those as threads to move yourself onto your next set of learning objectives. If you make that a nice smooth transition, what you will be able to do in your teaching is refer back to the visit again and again, and it just keeps on giving. Great visits.